So our next guest this afternoon is Magnus Carlsen, who's just defeated Etienne Barco by 2-0. Were you expecting this uh, choice of opening by your opponent? Uh, no, I was was a bit surprised, but I think it was uh, was a good choice since he got a comfortable position uh, afterwards. I think I yeah I responded kind of meekly, uh, and uh, I uh, yeah I was I was a little bit worse for sure. Okay, so of course it's hard to know exactly what your opponent was thinking, but it seemed to me that maybe he missed the ninety seven idea in the in the in the main line, and specifically, what were you ex what were you preparing to do if he had played Queen G four? Yeah. Um, I sort of missed some some details before I went to H4 myself, which is um, it's it's an ugly positional move. But I, I kind of want to, I want to play E5 and sort of clarify everything. Um, and he, yeah, so he took an E4, believing I had to take back. Um, almost, I'm almost completely sure he missed uh, he missed 97 because you never you never allowed that. Um, yeah, so if he, if he goes Queen G4, Queen E6, one of those, I'll. I'll um, exchange the rooks, go queen f7, queen e6, um, and exchange. And I thought there were very good winning chances, but most of all, <laughs> I'm never ever losing it, of course. So that was already, uh, I felt like I was already playing with house money uh, then. And then we made a couple of more moves. He t took an e7, he, I took back. Uh, and he played knight f5, uh, rook e2, and he played knight d4 and offered me a draw. Um, and yeah, it was a bit too late. Yeah, I, did, I didn't hear that, but that's maybe, a surprise, obviously. Maybe, maybe, for, maybe for that. I, I mean, I understand that I win the match, but uh, by, by accepting that I thought my position was just too winning. So I, uh, uh, I mean, in general, you don't decline these offers, but I, I just thought, there was just no way I was losing it, and it's yeah, nice to pick up the win. Of course. Now, you're on semi-finals, you've got two free days until the next game. What are you planning to do these two days? Oh, first of all, I desperately need them. <laughs> I think everybody needs them, but yeah, now I've played eight days in a, in a row, uh, and I could really, really feel it today that I had zero energy. Um, so I intend to... Uh, go for a hike in the mountains, probably. Um, try and relax and just, uh, you know, be glad for two things that I don't have to play for a couple of days. And most of all, that I'm still in the tournament. Okay. Congratulations. And, uh, and I now also, uh, I know that I will be here to the end regardless. So <laughs> might as well, might as well uh, try and win it. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you.